stand up and make a statement today that Massachusetts will do everything that we can together with advocates, with our legislative colleagues here and others in this building, with our administration to reduce the amount of violence in people's lives, women, children, and families to break out of the cycle of violence so that they can leave, live in peace and comfort here in our Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Actually, the Advisory Council has its anniversary date actually two years tomorrow. Uh, Governor Baker was proud to sign the executive order uh, just two years ago, and I'm proud to chair it as my friend and mentor, Paul Salucci, started this council more than 20 years ago, and for us to be able to bring it uh, to full power and, and focus on these initiatives is really important. And I also just want to recognize that there are strength in numbers, that we have women in our women's caucus, obviously, members of our legislature, members of this advisory council who are working statewide to introduce policies and initiatives to reduce the amount of violence here in our Commonwealth uh, around the area of domestic violence and sexual assault. And we have five working groups that are comprised of advisory council members and members of the public that can serve in these work groups to help us reach the right conclusions on policies and initiatives that are important in this space. The five work groups are response and assessment, housing stability and self-sufficiency, human trafficking, particularly as it relates to children in our commonwealth, engaging our veterans and military families around how to reduce violence as these families transition back to civilian life, and prevention education. We can't do enough across the landscape of Massachusetts to bring awareness and an understanding of what our culture needs to be and should be here in our commonwealth. And finally, I want to today uh, make a proclamation because this is Sexual Assault <coughs> Awareness Month. And while we claim this month to be dedicated to this particular issue, every day we need to work hard as legislators, as your lieutenant governor, as advocates, and people concerned in this community around this topic to do our part. Because in Massachusetts, our Department of Public Health reported that 1,895 incidents of sexual assault were reported to rape crisis centers across our commonwealth. Behind every single one of those numbers is a woman or an individual or a child who has been put in harm's way. Young people experienced heightened rates of sexual assault and youth ages between 12 and 17 are two and a half times greater to be victimized by rape or sexual assault. And on our colleges and university campuses here in our Commonwealth, one in five women and one in 16 men are sexually assaulted. We can do better, right? As much as we have accomplished together, we have more work to do. So it is